Here I am demonstrating how to solve that particular beam problem by using a 3D element. Um, so previously we were considering it as a one dimensional element, now we will be considering it as a 3D element. So create your new directory, start the new window, go to preferences, we have to do a structural simulation, so select that, press ok, go to preprocessor, element type, add an element, since we have to make a new element, again press add. Here we want to select a solid element, so solid, here I would like to choose a brick element, so 8 node 185, that is the number given for this particular element by ANSYS, press OK, close. Now we have to choose our material parameters, for that go to material properties, material models we have to create, we have to, uh, it is under structural, linear, elastic and isotropic material. Length modulus is 2E5, we, since we are defining it in megapascal uh, and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3, press OK. Let us close this window. Okay. So previously we were defining, we were uh, representing the beam as a single line and hence we had to define a section to that line for software to understand that what is a cross-sectional area. But here we, we were we are modeling the body itself as a 3D, so we don't have to give any section because the sectional details will be uh, available in the model itself. So go to modeling. Here we have to create a 3D uh, beam, right? Which means it's something like a rectangle. So either we can create the rectangle by uh, giving its eight corner points and just create a solid which connect all the eight corner points, or you can make an area, then you can extrude it. So I would like to prefer the area, the next an extruding option. So for that, go to modeling and then create. Uh, we want to create an area. So press area. Under that, we want a rectangular area. So rectangular uh, shape. Then by two corner points, I would like to choose. So click two corner points. Here I want to start it from zero, zero. Then width, I, we know that length of the rectangle is 200 and its height is uh, 20 okay so one rectangle has created now we know we have to uh, extrude this in z direction by 10 mm also so for that we have to go into okay let me see probably the option will be under operate yeah under operate we can find extrude option go there and uh, we want to extrude an area so Either we can extrude it along the normal or by XYZ offset. I would like to prefer by XYZ offset. I want to, okay, uh, this particular area is what I want to extrude, press OK. Now DX, DY, DZ offset for extrusion. I want to extrude it only in the Z direction. Even if it is plus or minus Z, it won't make any difference for me. So X I don't need any, Y I don't need any, Z I want to extrude by 10 mm press ok so now it has extruded to view that we can go to this isometric view option here you can see now we have created the beam element ok now we have defined the material we have completed the modeling then we can go to the mesh option so let us mesh it again mesh tool ok here what I am thinking to do is I want to mesh this in such a way that along the le length I want to split this into maybe uh, at 10 pieces and along the height I want to split into by 5 pieces and along the width I want to split it by 4 pieces this is what I want to do suppose then we have to individually assign uh, the split up along each line then we have to do the mesh so for that first I am going to select line I told I want to uh, split this along the length into 10 pieces right so select the first line second line third line and fourth line here you don't have to press ctrl or shift or anything you can directly click each of the line you want make sure you are in the pick option okay so here also you can see that maximum equal to 12 minimum equal to 1 line number equal to 1 count equal to 4 something better okay. which is showing that in this window total 12 lines are available what are the 12 lines all the 12 edges of this particular body then minimum we have to choose one and here we have chosen four that's it so we have chosen four press ok i want to split this everything into uh, 10 pieces right press ok so it has splitted into 10 pieces 
now again we want to split the vertical member into maybe five pieces i said yeah five pieces so press okay one two three and four four vertical per, uh, members we have chosen select okay we have to split it into five pieces press okay it has split it into five now the horizontal elements are also remaining so i can go to mesh tool line one two three and four we are selecting and splitting it into four pieces okay four pieces press ok now we have splitted all these uh, edges now let us mesh this everything so go to mesh okay here for this 3d geometry it will be good if you are splitting it into hexagonal elements and let us mesh it here we have to choose everything so for that pick all yeah now you can see we have splitted the line into 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 pieces are there along width we have chosen 1 2 3 4 along height 1 2 3 4 5 so the body has splitted into the required uh, mesh that we were planning now mesh option is completed now let us define the loads so for that go to solution okay analysis type we know we have to do a new analysis it is a static simulation press ok now define loads first we have to apply apply a structural load which is a displacement which we have to apply at the nodes okay here don't select key points why because uh, it may be causing some trouble in the selecting all the elements so better go for the nodes option now we want to choose all the edge node for that what i'm doing is i'm making it into this front view so it will be easy for me to select by using the scroll button you can uh, zoom in zoom out now i'm uh, instead of single here i'm selecting box option then just clicking here and dragging just this portion so this is supposed to select all the nodes which is available which was uh, inside this particular box which we have drew right now let us verify it by clicking in the isometric view yeah zoom in here you can see all the nodes are get, got selected now press ok here the degrees of freedom all degrees of freedom i want to arrest so select all dof press ok now similarly we have to apply a force okay if you have trouble in zooming into a particular uh, section instead of scrolling you can directly click this particular zoom model option you can just click on the area you want to zoom and just zoom it here it is got zoomed now like displacement now second our requirement is to apply force so click on the force on the node we have to apply here we i have to i want to apply at the middle so i am clicking the middle node press ok here i want to apply force in y direction it is in minus 250 newton okay so here you can see a force has created now we have defined everything now our only remaining thing is to find the solution so for that go into solve and current load step okay it is yeah it got sold close the window go to general post process and read result from the first set we have to read plot result if you want to see the condo sorry deformed shape select this and this one so you can see the deformed shape you can see it by going to the front view again you can zoom fit the view by clicking this thing now if you want to see the uh, nodal solution you can go to nodal solution degrees of freedom you can choose x component and everything press ok ok here one thing i would like to tell is here you have seen the deflection in this particular window it is showing like uh, what is value let me check it once again nodal solution i went i want y component displacement ok sorry yeah it is showing almost 0.36 mm deflection the maximum is showing here uh, then if you want to see the stress again nodal solution instead of degrees of freedom go to stress i want x component of the stress press ok it is showing 49 megapascal suppose here instead of this if you want to see the node wise result either uh, you can go into yeah if you want to uh, have some like uh, some particular node or element if you want to select 
uh, if you want to find the result to go into this query result option here actually element solution is available but if you want to go see the nodal solution you have to change some options go to plot controls go to styles hidden line options change this power graphics into full model press ok here it is changed into nodal solution here by clicking this actually what you can do what you can get is for each node you can find this many things okay but here selecting the node may be a little difficult because we are not able to see any node you can like it's by zooming in we can see only the edge node so suppose if you want to see like here node display here go to this plot option here in this plot option you can see many options key point lines areas etc this is what it is telling is whatever you are seeing here that we can alter by changing this thing here suppose if i want to see only the membrane this member represented only by nodes go to plot and click nodes now see this total member is being uh, shown only by nodes if you want to see it only by uh, element you can do that so here i know i just want to see it by nodes so that i can see the result like very well so suppose if i want to see only the this last sections middle node i can directly go into the query nodal selection i want to find the ui deflection maybe press ui okay just pick the node which i want it is showing the value